Hi, I'm Nicole Smithy from Iridescent Women, and today we're reading Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the duty of all mankind. Now, Ecclesiastes was written by the wisest and wealthiest man alive at his time. Who am I referring to? King Solomon. King Solomon, though, he doesn't write this as a man who knows it all. Instead, he writes this book as a man who's tried it all. He narrates how he chased after knowledge, but that felt meaningless. And then he chased after pleasure, and that too felt meaningless. And then he threw himself into his work, and that too fell short. And then he chased after recognition and promotion. And even with all the applause and achievements he gained, there was still something missing in his life. And then he went after wealth and thought if he had it all, that he could buy himself a sense of meaning. But that too felt meaningless. And all of his searching led him to the simple truth that the greatest pursuit of one's life is simply to fear God and keep his commandments. In other words, there is no true satisfaction apart from knowing God and committing oneself to his ways. So often we're tempted to chase after the things King Solomon did and to believe that we can find meaning or significance in those things. You know, our successful careers, powerful personas, wealth, fame, whirlwind romances, achievements, and accolades. These things, they always overpromise and underdeliver. But Jesus, oh, following Jesus, that's where we find true meaning, true joy, true hope, true peace, true fulfillment. So today, I want to encourage you to take inventory of your pursuits at the moment. Where do you spend your time, your talent, your treasure? What are you chasing after exactly? May you turn once again wholeheartedly to Jesus and place your faith in his leading. And as you do, experience true meaning and fulfillment in your heart and soul.